Hello and welcome to Marketing91.com. Advertising classification can be done in many ways and a few of the ways are given below. That is, based on advertisers, based on area, based on audience, based on media and based on function. Let's understand each of these classifications in detail. Based on advertisers, advertising budget can be further classified as follows. The first is depending on the size of the budget. Big advertisers have budgets running into crores of rupees. For example, in the first quarter of 2016, FMCG giant Dabur India Limited spent rupees 330 crore on advertising and publicity. The second classification is based on the nature of the organization. Advertisers are classified by nature of organization, for example, government organization, NGOs or commercial organizations. The next classification is based on area which is subdivided into four classifications. The first is local advertising which is undertaken by retailers to cover a local area, usually media such as newspapers, cable networks, posters and billboards are employed. Regional advertising is used by marketers to concentrate marketing efforts on a particular region. Typically, television and radio network are the media involved. National advertising is used by marketers intending to sell products nationwide. Usually, television and magazines are the media involved. Lastly, international advertising is used by multinational corporations, airlines and hotels to promote their products or services. For example, the Emirates airline ad featuring Jennifer Aniston highlights the airline's special value-added services. The next classification is based on audience, which is subdivided into four classifications. Consumer advertising is employed to generate awareness and influence customer action. Typically, television, radio and magazines are used. For example, Samsung promoted its 5-in-1 convertible refrigerator via a television ad to generate product awareness among people. Industrial advertising is a type of business-to-business -business advertising aimed at manufacturers where a company advertises the equipment and raw materials used in the manufacturing processes of other businesses. For example, the Jindal Steel advertisement is targeted at building contractors. The third subclassification within based on audience is trade advertising which is designed to influence retailers, wholesalers and dealers to stock and promote specific products. Lastly, professional advertising is used to influence professionals such as doctors, lawyers, architects and professors. The next classification is based on media which is again subdivided into four classifications. The press media covers newspapers and magazines. In 2015, print media accounted for almost 35% of total ad spent amounting to rupees 17,000 crores. For example, Snapdeal advertises in the Times of India newspaper. Broadcast media covers radio and television ads. Owing to the combined effects of voice, vision, music and motion, TV advertising has a good impact on the target audience. In 2015, broadcast media accounted for 50% of the total ads with a total ad spend of rupees 24,500 crores. For example, Fruity advertises through a broadcast TV ad. Outdoor media includes posters, hoardings, neon signs, transit and points of purchase. For example, Fair and Lovely promotes its skincare products through billboards. Internet media involves using the internet to drive traffic to the product website and targeting and delivering marketing messages to suitable customers. For example, e-commerce companies such as Snapdeal aggressively employ internet advertising through channels such as Twitter, YouTube and Facebook. The next classification is based on function, which is divided into six subclassifications. Direct action advertising is used to obtain immediate responses from or induce actions by target audience. For example, Flipkart aggressively promotes sales offers to increase sales. Indirect action advertising is used to attract audiences toward advertisers' brand. For example, detergents such as Tide periodically release advertisements highlighting the advantages of using their brands. Primary advertising is used to create generic demand for goods and services. For example, the UNICEF ad featuring Vidya Balan highlights the need to have toilets within homes. 
Selective advertising is used by marketers of branded products to generate selective product demand. For example, Vidya Balan advertising Ranka Jewelers. Product advertising is used to advertise the product sale. For example, Maggie advertised a new product, Oats Noodles, through an ad featuring Madhuri Dikshit to generate product awareness and boost sales. Institutional advertising is used to build an organization's name and goodwill, also known as image advertising. For example, Flipkart's most recent ads highlight that Flipkart sells only genuine products. The last classification is based on stage, which is divided into three subclassifications. Pioneering stage involves advertising in the introductory stage, where the purpose is to generate product or service awareness in the audience. For example, Gillette's ad to make people aware of the company's new product, Mark III Blade. Competitive stage involves advertising in the stage where a product or service competes with other products or services. Most contemporary advertising is of a competitive nature. For example, BMW and Audi compare their brands with each other via ads in newspapers and on billboards. Lastly, retentive stage, also called reminder advertising, serves to maintain brand loyalty. For example, Mandarin Oriental introduced an advert featuring Morgan Freeman with a tagline, He's a fan, to showcase brand loyalty. Stay tuned for more videos on marketing. Thank you.